Welcome back guys. It's been a wonderful summer. I've been playing too much and working too little and my leather workshop has really gotten away from me. It's a mess. I need a project to help me clean things up, get organized and kind of elevate my leather working game. I want to get back in the groove and get on track and I think the project for that is a new workbench. It's pretty windy. I don't know how that's going to come across on the mic. Don't go away yet because I'm going to incorporate two leatherworking tricks that have really helped me in the last couple of years and I think they're going to help make this the ideal workbench at least within my budget and I think they can help you too. So I've got my space cleaned up and I've got my wood cut up into the sizes I think I'm going to need to put everything together. So I'm going to start assembling this. I will let you guys know later what the cost was for all my materials because I'm, I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to have to buy. But I'm going to start assembling things. I'll see what I have, see what I can put together. Um, trying to keep it as inexpensive as possible. Yeah, that's not for you. I got one thing you could do. So if you go on that side, lift up that board until it lines, there's a line on this board right here on your side. See the line? Yeah. Okay, now heads up, I'm gonna use a nail gun. <laughs> Okay, it's getting late. I'm getting 
tired and sloppy, so that means it's time to stop and wait until tomorrow to resume my work. But I got pretty good progress. I've got the four corner legs on and I haven't secured the center legs yet or put the center cross beam in, so I'll do that tomorrow. And then I can uh, go from there. See you in the morning. Good morning. So I put the center legs in off camera and I put some additional cross beams in there to hold the tabletop. And now what I'm going to do is go around and I'm going to tack these blocks in some of these bigger spaces so that we're ready to put the tabletop on. And I decided to put our tabletop on before I put the lower supports in. I'm gonna add a, some additional supports underneath the tabletop and some shelving under there. But I want to get the tabletop on first so that I can get a good idea of how far down I wanna do that shelf. So I don't know if I would have chosen to use three quarter inch subfloor. It's going to be really solid, but I had this out in the shop and I hadn't used it for years. It's just been sitting out there. So it needs to be used and it's going to be a good solid tabletop. So I did come in this morning and I added these sidebars here where I'm going to put the shelf. I still have to put the cross pieces on for the support there, but first I want to show you what I'm going to put on top of this. My first 
leatherworking hack is this stall mat material. So sometime about three years ago, I was looking for something to use underneath my leatherworking space to cut leather on and stamp and just sort of abuse and got looking online. A lot of the, a lot of the leather cutting mats online are like outrageously expensive for a small piece, right? I ended up finding a, a piece of stall mat that we had laying around that we hadn't used. I've cut every piece of leather for every project over the last three years on that little piece of stall mat I have on my old workbench. And it's still holding up really well. So it can take a lot of use and abuse. This stuff, this is what you would put in the bottom of a horse trailer or a stock trailer for your livestock to walk on. It's fairly inexpensive. These two sheets are four by six feet. That's actually why I made this workbench the dimensions that I did because I didn't want to cut this material. I want to just be able to put them on here the size that they were because cutting this is really hard. It's really tough material to cut through. These mats were $60 each, um, including tax, and that's uh, a lot cheaper than trying to cover this tabletop with a lot of other materials. I mean, that's. I got the shelf on. I decided to go for 7 16th OSB because it was the most affordable. But I just put the smooth side up and I cut all the paint off the edges just because I think it looks better. Probably not worth it. Other working tip number two is French cleats. These are a great way to add some organization and versatility to your leather workbench. I've been using these for a couple of years on my old workbench and I love all the different things that you can put on there. I have all sorts of uh, variations of tool holders and shelves and thread dispenser that I built for my French cleats and I can move them around anywhere in the shop. I even added a cleat to my press bench so I could move tools back and forth between the press bench, the workbench, and the wall over on my old workbench. 
and they're very stable and strong. You can see they can hold a lot of weight. I built these ones from some old closet door panels that we had, so just some scrap plywood that we had around basically. And this is from the end of one of the legs from our workbench. So I'm excited to have a little more space for organization. I get it? I paid $100 for the wood for the frame. That was two by fours and two by sixes. The legs were milled lumber that I had on hand. They're about five by three. So they're pretty big size legs. The OSB cost $20 a sheet. I bought two sheets, so that was $40. The MDF subfloor that I used for the tabletop I had on hand, it's three quarter inch. The stall mats are a little over a half inch thick and they were $60 each. So that was $120. The French cleats were from old closet doors that I got from my dad. So I didn't pay anything for them and my tool holder was from another piece of the legs that I didn't use. So all in, I was about $260 for this build. It helps to have people in your life that you can borrow tools from, and it helps to have materials laying around that you can repurpose and use. And I recognize that those are not all things that everybody may have at any given time in their lives but I'm gonna use what I have, and that's what I had that made this table affordable for me, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, we're done. <laughs>